Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And what a time to be on this game. It is really elite tier content right now. What we are witnessing during this greats of the game team 2 with all the icons, the heroes. Guys, the pack SPCs are great. The player SPCs are stepping up. Really good one dropped yesterday. And the evolutions are even fire right now. What has happened to EA, man? Honestly. And EA dropped a really expensive store pack yesterday that's getting a lot of hype that we need to talk about. As well as look forward to today on Sunday. Will we get that SPC that everybody is watching? wanting to see for the crafting capabilities of the menus right now it'd be a card a lot of people would want to do so if you're enjoying the menus right now and you're excited to actually be on this game a little bit drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new let's talk about the evolution first and go through that content that dropped yesterday on a saturday it is a free evo which we always love and it's called lucky sevens and i think the reason why it's called lucky sevens is because it gives yeah plus seven to all the face stats as well as plus two play styles so you can get cards up to a four play style plus boost now i looked at my club for just a quick second after content and the first card that i saw was this this isak looks insane power shot rapid press proven and first touch plus four five 96 pace and shooting with 98 dribbling that card looks mental and then i just saw on footbin that this crouch card goes crazy in this evo 99 shooting 95 pace like that's just you know bicycle kicks and crazy crosses coming into him just sounds incredible right that looks like a really mental card and then even some of the midfielders i saw that the uh kamara card who i've kept around in the club for some reason i don't know if i'll ever end up using this card again but based off of these stats right here not the second level the third level i think that's the best in-game stat card of all of the evos that can be done right now in this game from a base card standpoint, that card looks insane. Intercept, power shot, press proven, and first touch. You know, the press proven and the first touch, not the best of playstyle pluses, but press proven is underrated. And I think a lot of people are enjoying Darwin Nunez right now. And that card has press proven, which I think makes him pretty OP. So guys, this Evo, we love it, right? And if you take a look at Footbin, there's a couple of Ronaldo versions of this Evo that are going crazy. And of course, like it always does, a good evolution makes some cards on the market go up crazy in price. People are paying 800k for this Ronaldo to get this crazy boosted version of him. I totally understand. If you're lucky enough to pack an inform Ronaldo out of an 83 plus team in the league player pick, I mean, I would definitely put that into the EVA. That's going to be one of the best quote unquote free Ronaldo's you'll be able to get throughout the entire year. That looks crazy. But there's so many good options inside of this. The Ramirez, this Jude Bellingham, Franck Ribéry, base icon, like what an upgrade for him, right? That's a really insane looking one too. So whoever you have that fits this Evo, maybe it's somebody from your club that you've been building up Evos for over time. There wasn't necessarily somebody in my club that I was super hyped for. This Sergio Gomez, um, he looked solid. Not insane, but he looks pretty solid, right? 94 pa uh, passing, 95 dribbling. So I got to figure out who I'm going to do in this Evo. I also might hold on to it because overall max 88, you might be able to do a little double Evo situation if you're still trying to mess around with any of that. Uh, there still might be some combo potential with this Evo since it allows two play style pluses and you can boost up a pretty high rated card into something insane. So honestly, freaking W Evo right there. Watch out for any cards that are maybe on like the footman popular list as we just looked at here because they're going to be going up like crazy like we looked at the Dino yesterday. Um, keep an eye on some of those cards on the market like even this version of Hyun Min Sun, the Inform, right? What is he? He's max price 75k. So that sort of stuff, if you have it in your club, just sell it, take the cash if you're not going to do the Evo. But that's a banger. That is an insane Evo from that uh, piece of content yesterday from EA. Let's look at the SBCs because the insane upgrade pack grind just gets better after the two upgrade SBCs that we had yesterday. The 85.5, which, I mean, when the 84.10 leaving that we had last week, this was the second best option of an SBC to replace it, in my opinion. This one was great a couple of weeks ago when we had it and I like it even more right now with the weight of the icons and just the amount of cards that are in packs plus the icon SBCs that seem to be out already and coming. A lot of craftability, right? Any Tatsu Team of the Week won in an 85 rated squad and it's so much easier to get Team of the Weeks, right? Like we mentioned with the crafting objective, the 83 plus Team of the Week player pick is so easy to get done with this craft i'm going to open the first 85.5 right now i mean really it's going to be super easy to get these sbcs crafted each and every day since you can do the 85.5 three times per day as would ex no way first one come on swiss 
Okay, Cobell, we're double walking out here. It's an icon. That is the white with the blue, so it's an icon for sure. Who are we getting? Puyol. Okay, I don't think he's that expensive, but hey, come on, man. That's what you can get from an 85 times 5 and the rest of the pack is duplicates. That's the state of my club at the moment because the craft has been going well. How's this Puyol card look? Three-star, four-star, medium-high. He could have been better. He's got every defending play style. He upgrades for Spain. He needs both upgrades, though. We're going to be completely honest. It's, it's usable. It's usable, at least. We'll take it. We'll take it. Maybe we try him out a little bit. But that's why we love the 85 times fives. Go ahead. Make sure you get each and every one of those done every single day and rip it up. For the craft ability right now, even for those like dupes that I had, I'm not doing any player SBCs. Those are going straight into exchanges until there's a player SBC that I want to do with this craft that is out. I need to keep the non-rares flowing in the club from the exchanges to keep the crafting upgrade going. So we love the 85.5 and we love the 84 times 10 best of nations upgrade, right? We predicted this to come out yesterday as well, and it did. It's an 84 squad with a team of the season or a team of the week. The only critique I have for this is I wish we could do it like even once every couple days, maybe three times during this week that it's out. I would love to have another chance at this SBC, but I understand why they maybe don't want us to because with those specific nations, think about all the icons that are packable. All of the Brazilian icons, the Dino, the R9, the Zico, right? You know, you got Charlton now as an English icon and Ashley Cole that are in German icons. You've got uh, Mateus, French icons, there's so many of the Spain, like... There's a really good chance of something big here, so I understand why they don't want us to have that too many times, but it would be nice to have it more times than just once for the entire week. Now, if you're not doing any player SBCs yet yourself, like I got with those dupes right there, just keep feeding them into exchanges. That's going to make your life a lot easier. I kind of already mentioned that, but I wanted to double down on it because the exchanges for real are huge right now in this game. Let's talk about player SBCs. We had a showdown yesterday between Slovenia and Portugal. We've got Bijol, Jaka Bijol, a Slovenian center back in the Serie A, and we've got Francisco from Portugal. I think a lot of people are going to go and try out this SBC. If you're Portuguese, of course, it's one you got to get done. 5-4. He's got finesse, technical, and trickster. And he looks he looks good, right? The price is a little bit of a tax here because Portugal are definitely favored for this matchup in the upcoming Euro matchup. He's 124,000 coins, and I believe that Bijol is only 35k. So, yeah, it is there. If you need to do a player SBC and rinse a couple of dupes, maybe you do this Bijol card for like a free 93 just for SBCs. Or if you want to get Francisco done, if you're Portuguese, that's a showdown you're probably going to do. It is there. Again, another showdown that's like, hmm, it's there. It's nice. Of course, if you're Portuguese or if you're rooting for Portugal to win this game, you think they're going to win, you want to try out this card. But they're starting to kind of feel like, you know, these showdowns could be a little bit better for playstyle pluses since that's becoming sort of the norm now the sbc yesterday that really is a w though as a player sbc is this clarence seedorf man i was thinking when this sbc dropped and i saw it yesterday out i was like have i used seedorf this year and the answer to that's no because he only has one other icon promo this year from the future stars promo and even then it was just average right but this card is well above average this is a meta cheap beast finesse technical pinged pass and Dead Ball Plus. When I look at this card, I kind of thought right away, you know who he kind of reminds me of is Javi Simons. Maybe if you did the Javi Simons SBC, this would be a perfect card to link up with him. He can play right mid, left mid, center mid, or cam. I think he might be suited best in game for a cam or maybe a right or left mid um, because he has some really good attacking midfielder playstyle pluses. His pace, he definitely needs like, I don't know if you run a shadow on him, if you're going to go box to box or whatever, but Needs a little bit of a pace boost for this stage of the game, but the rest of his stats look unreal. Great play styles as well. You love intercept, you love rapid, and you love long ball added to this as well. But man, it's the finesse, the technical, and the ping for me. Those are very, very often used uh, actions in game, right? And I love the card stats here. I love the price. It's only nine squads, which is so refreshing that a squad is just half of the requirement of what Rooney was on Friday, right? You go from 18 squads down to nine. It's only 400 thousand coins 419k but again with the menu craft the upgrades and the crafting upgrades that we have right now this one you can get done real easy real quick and on top of that he's still got upgrade potential all we need is four goals from the netherlands in the rest of the tournament and he could be getting himself a 96 rated boost with a 99 overall stat which if i had to guess they would probably give it to passing 
or to dribbling, but that's the potential hype here. And if you're like, Nate, I'm undecided. I want to see Netherlands win some games or score some goals first before I decide to do this. I do believe Netherlands plays on Tuesday, so it's a bit of a wait, but he's out for 13 days and he is really cheap to do. So the wait there, I don't think matters too much because he's pretty cheap. But I just love the option that we have here to use an icon that maybe we haven't used too much this year that they give a boosted item to at this stage of the game. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. So there is that. And that was all the content yesterday besides the store pack, which I can't actually go and look at now unless maybe I can go claim an objective so I can actually see the store. The 725k pack, guys, was dropped. Let's see. Great to the game. Daily play completionist. Boom. Let's go claim this and see if I can go to the store. I believe I should be able to. For you guys that go unassigned a lot, I think you know you do this, but I don't often do this. Uh, promo packs, yeah, boom, we can see it. 725,000 coin pack. I don't know where the little like face image is here. It's gone, but anyways, this is pricey. This is pricey, man. This is the best upgrade pack that we're going to see, or the best store pack. It's not an upgrade. It's a store pack by nature because it's in the store. But it's an 85 times 20, and two players 88 or above. And then two guaranteed greats of the game, one guaranteed to be an icon. Right away when I look at this pack, I think back to the last two weeks of 650k packs that we had. Both of the 650k packs during Make Your Mark and during Path to Glory were better for the number of players that you get than this. Because it was an 85 times 40 before this, right? But there's definitely some icon tax that is pretty heavy here on the price of this pack. I mean, sure, you got basic, you're 100% guaranteed an icon player. I have not seen many of these opened. I am going to just do this during the week at some point, but right now I'm waiting to spend 725 of my hard-earned coins on this pack until there's an SBC out that I really want to do, whether it's Cafu or maybe if I do decide to do Rooney based off of England's game and performance today, I'm going to wait to open that pack until then. But I could see that pack being a little underwhelming depending on who you get if uh, you know, your one guaranteed icons like Therese Gay or something like that, and then you get one other guaranteed hero that's like McManaman. You could really get hosed out of that pack, especially because you're not getting as big of a pack. There's only 20 players instead of 40. So it's really expensive. There's a lot of people talking about it. I would say be careful with your coins, of course, but the pack weight is better than last week, so I understand how people are sending that one. I'm going to test it out later in the week. And another reason to maybe test it out now uh, is the new icons that were added. This is the mini release from yesterday. We have Kessler, Zambrata, Puyol, who we just packed, Sanchez, Cole, Seedorf was the SBC, and Charlton. We finally got the Charlton. I wish that he was 5'5", five, five, but you know what? 4'5 will do. Ashley Cole looks pretty solid as a cheap uh, left back option. We already saw the Puyol. The Zambrata, man, I used birthday Zambrata. Did that SBC. Used him for a long time. He was a very, very good card. But um, I don't know here. I, especially yesterday with Italy. Man, Italy going out of the tournament, out of the Euros, really hurts his card and hurts a lot of the value of the Italians, which we'll look at in a second. The mid-release is, is solid. There's nothing crazy in there. Really, Charlton is the biggest one. And he's, what is he right now? Like 1.4 million, million coins ahead of a game today. So we do like the mini release. It's not that crazy, but it's good. No complaints. It is good. More icons and packs giving us a absolutely massive set of players and packs. Now, here's what I want to look at really quick. Let's talk about upgrades, right? For some of the greats of the games, as we mentioned, some of the Brazilians or all of the Brazilian icons got their full upgrade boost yesterday and still only two of these icons are on the market because the Dino and the R9 are nowhere to be found and especially they're nowhere to be found after the upgrades that they got. The 99s are apparent. This is what it looks like they're going to be doing with the 99s, guys, because Dino already had 99 dribble, I believe. And what they gave him a bigger boost in is 99 passing. But that was, besides pace, his next highest stat closest to 99 rated, right? He was a 96 in the passing category. They could have given him a 99 pace, which would have been crazy, but, you know, they probably won't, right? They went for the, like, slightly less meta stat of the 90 nine pace for him so or sorry for passing for Dino and I think um R9 I think R9 got 99 passing because he already had 99 pace no no sorry he got 99 shooting that's a W we like that so it's really interesting to see how EA boosts this up but it's not like they gave him 99 physical right because he had 84 physical they didn't boost that all the way to 99 it seems like they're boosting the stats that are very close um to that maximum 
stat already, just so that it's not like that crazy of a change. Zico went to the 99 stat in dribbling, which he was a 95 in. And again, he got 96 shooting and 96 passing, so they just picked dribbling. So the 99 stats are definitely really, really cool. Um, so that's something to kind of notice and look forward to as we have other icons updated in game. And we see some more of those stats moving, especially with four goal thresholds being hit. Just watch out for where they kind of place those 99 stats. We also had the PTGs for Brazil getting upgraded. Bruno Guimarães got a cheeky plus one, and he got plus two crossing, plus one sim basically everywhere else. And then the upgrades that just went live, I just saw them here in the menus. It is the German cards that got upgraded. Fulkrug, Undav, Matthias, Gerdmuller, and Kessler all got upgrades. We got the fourth playstyle plus additions to Undav and the Fulkrug. I believe Undav got... Tiki Taka Plus and Full Krug got press proven, which I mean, underrated press proven here again for real. Like we mentioned with the Darwin Nunez, a lot of people really, really like press proven plus as a playstyle. And Full Krug is now he's down crazy. He's under a hundred thousand coins, which is mad. I think people see press proven and they're like, nah, that's an L. Uh, this card's still live, by the way. Yes, they're most likely in a matchup with Spain, I think, if Spain win against Georgia today. So it's a tough matchup, but there's another upgrade on the line here. If they win the next game, he's going to a 95 rated card. Same thing with Undav. So prices are down, but that's kind of been the trend, right? These cards just drop after they get upgrades. Given the current market conditions, nobody wants to hold on to these. How much is Undav? 230, 230,000 coins, actually. Oh my gosh, man. He was 330 before the game. That's crazy. Tiki Taka plus for him. Some people won't like, but I'm a fan of that, especially as a striker. 94 passing. That's a great passing stat uh, to be able to play in a two, two striker setup or just to get the ball out to a winger or whatever. Love it. So I love that there. And then I do want to look at the Mateus upgrade. They gave him plus three volleys two heading accuracy and two finishing, uh, and then plus one everywhere else. But again, what do we notice, right? Cards get upgraded after the game, even before they get upgraded, they drop. It's the same thing with these icons. Mateus was 2.5 before the game and during the game. He's now down at 1.9 million coins. So guess what we can say? Sell in the hype for those guys that are playing today. We'll talk about that in a second. Now, that's the good stuff, right? Those are the upgrades. Those are the cards that are getting boosted. Let's look at the sad stuff. The Italians, man. Pirlo, 1.4 million coins yesterday. He is currently 700,000 coins. He is down bad. And all of the Italian icons are. Del Piero is 500k. I'm so glad that I sold him for like a million coins. He was over a million coins at the start of the game. Look at him, 540 is crazy, but it's also makes sense because these cards are no longer alive since Italy are out of the competition. Uh, watch out for, oh my gosh, 280 for Cannavaro. That's crazy. Like these cards are so cheap. This is also going to continue to affect the rest of the market when a card this insane with four playstyle pluses as an icon is this cheap and some of the other PTGs and even TOTS cards are still as expensive as they are. Be careful. Be careful with anything on the market right now because these icons are just like pulling everything else down. So it's a bad day if you own any of the Italy cards. But again, since everybody's kind of like panic selling these investments, um, I even think Pirlo was down here at like 720K. If I see him there, I might even pick one up because some of these are going to end up rebounding just based off the panic selling getting to be a too low of a price for some of these cards. So that's just one thing to mention. I just flipped a Chiesa, bought him for under 1.1 mil and sold him for 1.3 yeah, there was another 1.1 listed right there. That one went uh, because he kind of has, you, you have the rarity uh, bounce backs here with a card like this. I don't know how much he's really worth in this market, but you can watch for the panic sells after a team loses and you can trade with those. So I do want to mention that with some of these cards. And uh, we do have more upgrades coming in because games just finished in Copa America. Julian Alvarez and the Argentinians get their third win. So this bro is going to be getting a third play style plus along with some of the other Argentines like Enzo Fernandez that are path to glories. Garnacho did play, uh, but he did not assist or score. So only a uh, chem boost for Garnacho, and I'm not entirely sure about the others, but watch out for the Argentine uh, upgrades coming later on today, and watch out for drops because these guys always seem to drop after their games. Now, like we always do, let's look ahead. We look at yesterday's games. Let's look at today's games. Sunday, two massive games Today, you already know what I'm going to say, guys, right? You already you already know what I'm going to say here. 
Sell this in the hype, please. All right, Saka's up 300K. He was 2 mil from when we looked at him earlier in the week. England plays Slovakia today. Yeah, sure, they're expected to win, but so was Italy. Sell in the hype, all right? That's all we have to say. Look how many live cards England has, right? Of course, Gerrard's playing for um, upgrades today, of course, as well. Kyle Walker, Rooney, Charlton. There's so many great cards that I, I'm hoping England win today. I'm hoping they win, right? I've got Joe Gomez. I would love to see Rooney get upgraded so that maybe I would think about doing his SBC if the upgrades look cracked for him, that sort of thing. Please sell on the hype, though. Don't risk the coins because you could get burned. That's the early game today. One thing I will mention is I was just watching Charlton for this very reason. Yesterday, we noticed, oh my gosh, 1.4 mil flat. That's really low. Yesterday, I noticed that um, a lot of the cards that were, especially like Gerd Muller, that was German and Mateus, they rose into the hype of the game because people are like, okay, they're going to score today. They're going to win. They're going to get upgrades. The cards are going to go up in value, right? Well, the opposite happens. Watch out today for Charlton and for Ashley Cole. They might actually be halfway decent investments um, leading into the game, but you definitely would want to sell on the hype per usual, per always. So I know these guys are brand new, which makes it a little bit more risky, but uh, yeah, that's just something I'm keeping an eye on. If I saw Charlton at 1-4 flat, I would probably have bought that if I was bidding and watching. So it's risky, but it's something that you could watch out for today. And then same thing with Spain, right? Uh, how much is Pedri? Pedri's 1.35. So a card like this, even if they win as they're expected to, he's probably going to drop. Somebody who really could drop big today would be Kavadit Skelia because he's still up a lot from where he was even after he got that plus one. Sell that card in the hype today for sure. Um, and again, a lot of Spanish upgrades on the line. Uh, Fernando Torres, he might rise in the hype a little bit today. Javi Alonso and Javi. Carlos Puyol there too. So I guess now I'm, I'm rooting for Spain on a whole nother level because I've got the, uh, the Puyol card. Let's see some goals today then, Spain. Let's go. I do have Danny Olmo as well. So I'm really excited for the potential. Uh, would that be a fourth? No, he's already got the fourth place dial plus. So today, technically, for the PTGs, Spain are not playing for any upgrades because if they win this game for the path to glories, this is not one of the games they would get an upgrade for. They would just be moving on to the quarterfinals um, for which they would get a plus one upgrade. So even more of a reason for Danny Olmo and for Pedri to sell on the height before those games today. So let's talk market just a little bit more. Guys, most prices just continue to fall on this game. And it's really because of the craftability of the menus, the content, everything is just hitting at the moment. And these icons are truly just taking over. And this is where all the hype is right now on this game. So all the other older cards like the Make Your Marks and the PTGs, they just continue to dip. Even the ones that aren't even playing, like Lukaku was just 518. Trossard, Belgium haven't played yet. He's 410K. And like, look at his graph from yesterday. On Friday, I bought him right here and I sold him at like 517, like right here. And he went all the way to 400 flat yesterday. Like he didn't even play and he's still dropping. So these cards are good to trade with because they're rare, but they just keep dropping because the new content and these cards are insane. And everything else is just mad right now and everybody wants to get involved with that so just be careful um you know cards could drop even further today on sunday as we head into the content drop there could be a little bit more panic which i would say is is likely um but i would tell you this if today's content kind of slows down a little bit I think there could be some bounce backs. I think this was maybe even during the Path to Glory promo uh, where there was a bit of a lull in content on a Sunday. Prices were dropping heavy. They dropped heavy on Saturday and they were dropping heavy on Sunday into the midday. And then after that, the content was a little quiet for whatever reason that day and prices started to go up. So on maybe some of the icons and maybe some of the panic sold cards, especially some of these PTGs that are still live, if they're getting panic sold, there could be some opportunities for some spikes. Just you know, fixate on the rare cards and the most meta ones that people would actually want to buy. That's just something from like a market specifics perspective that I'm looking at there. But since the weight is good on these cards, and I want to say this too, I see you guys in the comments, right? I know that not everybody has packed something good, but seriously, keep at it. As you just saw there with the Puyol, it is very, very possible. Okay. That was the only pack that I opened yesterday. You know, Call it whatever theory you want. But guys, honestly, the weight is so good compared to old promos. So get ripping. Wait, Mateus won seven. Won seven? Wait, he was just two mil. Oh my gosh, man. I'm telling you, these cards are just dragging the whole entire rest of the market down because all of a sudden they're just down 200K. It's crazy. 
But he's actually won seven. This is bananas, man. It's cra it's crazy. Open open the packs, bro. All right, get the eighty five fives done. Get the eighty four tens. Crafting upgrades. Do what you can. It's a good week on this game. Good weekend for sure to grind. But that also means that prices on the market are reacting to how good the content is, and it is dropping some things. Now, like we mentioned, the content today. Let's talk about that for a second, because we said there's one planar SBC that we want to see. And that's Cafu. Everybody wants Cafu. A lot of people are waiting for Cafu. You might be waiting for Cafu. I would love this card if he has four playstyle pluses. E8, you can't drop him with three playstyle pluses. There's no chance you even think about doing that. Because still, he needs to get the upgrade. We want the plus one. If they drop him as a 96, he would get a plus one to 97. And then the 99 stat on top of that, that would be mint, okay? Hopefully, Cafu is today. It's not a guarantee, but it is a hope. If he does drop, I think you would want to watch out for right backs. And here's another reason why you should probably sell this card. Because if Cafu drops, guess who's going down? Even if England win, this card. So make sure if you have a tradable right back in your team, this guy has enough hype, even though he could be really expensive, to drop a lot of right backs. Again, it all depends on the price, the SBC, and how good the card is. But just be careful because that is like the right back. When you think of right backs on this game, Cafu's in the top three, right? He's going to be hype if and when he drops today. Just watch Fodder for that same reason as well. Not that a player SBC is going to move Fodder a crazy amount. There's probably another SBC today that could move it more. But just kind of keep your club stocked if you need some certain ratings. We'll talk about Fodder just again in a second, especially pertaining to the Encore Icon player pick. This one goes away, but it could be coming back today as well. Here's my question. Are EA crazy enough to add the current greats of the game icons into an icon player pick. I don't think they are because that would be too soon. Like, honestly, it would be so hype. And today, today that would crash the market even further in itself. If they dropped great to the game, team one and team two, the current cards in packs in an icon player pick with a 98 Dino and a 99 R9, like saying that and then thinking about it, there's no way they're going to do it. But if somehow they would, fodder would go bananas, okay? Just so that you know, and just think through that. Fodder would go crazy. Whatever is required of this would go up for sure. I know a lot of you guys have fodder in the club, and your club is stocked like mine after the weekend, but it would still go up in price. Regardless, if that doesn't happen today, you're probably going to see a hero player pick, which may include the new heroes because they're not as crazy or as hyped. But I'm really curious to see what happens today because this would be another fun SBC. Even if they just re-release this one, this was the best icon pick that we have had in months. Honestly, I did it last week. I got Luis Hernandez, great to the game. If the team one cards are only in it, that would be a little bit less hype, but... Hopefully it's not just the hero pick today. Hopefully they give us an icon pick as well. And again, for a fodder standpoint, the cards that I'm looking at the most that I like right now are 88s. They're 9,000 coins and 89s are 24K. Honestly, 89s are crazy high right now for what they usually are. I know it's because everybody's buying exchange packs. Right now, if you're going to buy fodder for exchanges and a certain rating of players for exchanges i think 87s and 88s would give you the best value because once 89s get this expensive or even sniping 91s at 22k once an 89 or above player is over 21,000 coins it doesn't become that cost effective to buy them for exchanges so i would go for the 88s instead if these are under 10k they're usually good for the exchanges and also if we get an icon player pick today these are going to go up as well. I mean, in the last couple of weeks, they have hit peaks of only 10 or 11K, but they have potential to probably go up to like 12K if we get a really, really good icon player pick that's probably going to be a bit more expensive. And since people have high rated cards, to do a 90 rated squad, what do you need, right? You put in a couple high rated, so you throw in a couple of 85, 6, 7s, and 8s, and boom, you got a 90 rated squad. So that's something I'd watch out for in terms of fodder market. The, the middle tier, the low tier, like, 85s, 84s, 5s, 6s, and 7s are all really, really low. We just need more of that middle tier type of upgrade pack content. Maybe it comes on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday as well that could push those prices up. So if you really wanted a fodder investment play, that is where I would look. But I think an icon pick today could maybe shake up some prices there. But again, everything right now in the menus is so craftable with the crafting upgrade, the 85.5, the 84.10, and everything else that is out. It's a great time to be on. So I'm going to stop glazing at the moment. And uh, I also want to check. I played one game of foot champs last night. I'm currently, what, three and two, yeah? Three and two in the foot champs. Um, not that I care too much about that, except for the player picks have the Euro or 
Copa specific nations there, which we love. I guess it's Euros only, not Copa. So yeah, guys, it's amazing being on this game right now. It is way, way better than what it has been in the past. I'm excited to grind today. Big games today as well. That's going to impact the market and prices for who gets upgraded and who doesn't. It's a great time to be on, man. Euros are hype. Copa America is hype. Great to the gamer hype. Let's freaking go, man. So if you're excited and you're enjoying it as well, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in a stream today, most likely. And of course, a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the count. See you guys there. Peace. Out.